Hi friends, bom dia! Welcome back to my channel. Tomorrow I'm leaving to Nashville, Tennessee. I'm going on my anniversary trip with Honey Buns. We will be celebrating 17 years married on Saturday. 18 years together, like 18 plus years together. So anyway, I'm excited and I thought I should show you guys because recently I went to Brazil and got some messages, a handful of you asking to know what I pack on my toiletry bag and what I pack to go on on trips so I thought what a perfect you know video perfect time to show you guys a very concise <laughs> little carry-on size bag that I'm taking with me to Nashville so the purpose of this video is more of like a summer road trip getaway you know what to pack for those types of trips we do take a couple of trips you know road trips here and there in the summertime more so in the fall and it gets a little bit trickier when the clothes are heavier so if you guys are taking road trips this summer I hope that this video helps you guys because I'm gonna show you all of my hacks to pack small, minimal, and still cute, chic, and all together. Let's do this. I'm gonna start with the clothes and then I'll move on to beauty, must-haves, essentials, and things that I carry in my, just in my bag that will be with me in the car, things that are like easy, of easy access that I don't have to unpack my bag to get things from. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you guys through what I basically do. So it takes just a little bit of extra time, but it is so worth it. It's to kind of know, well, obviously you gotta know where you're going. You know, that makes it a lot easier. Um, and just a little bit of what your schedule. And I am not a planner person by any stretch of the imagination, you guys. But I do know that I will be in Nashville, like say we arrive there on Friday, I'm gonna wanna go out for dinner, you know, both Friday and Saturday. So think, you know, dinner outfits. Obviously getting to know the place you're going to, you will know about, you know, things that you're gonna be doing. Are we gonna go bar hopping? You know, we're gonna be in Nashville. Are we gonna go to like a farmer's market? Are we gonna go, you know, like do some shopping or walking around or things like that. So that really helps me to pack and being mindful and not bringing, this is my go for this trip, not bring a whole lot of outfits. Last time, I think I went to Dallas or where did I go? That I, oh, it was a The Bachelor trip. I'll link that video down here for you guys. I actually went, it was a quick trip to kind of like a weekend thing and I, to just a carry on and I kind of regret it because I thought maybe I should have brought you know more things but at the end of the day guys it was the best thing I've done <laughs> because I brought really what I needed it without any extras and did not have to be you know carrying on like huge amounts of clothes that I really never looked at or would have never looked at. That said, I do the splinting by like, okay, what do I wanna wear for dinner there? Obviously check the weather, you know, I usually check the weather until the last minute just to see do I need to add something or take something out of it. But this is another thing to knowing yourself, like I know that I always get cold and tr road tripping, I want to wear something cozy, comfy, just like this. This would be like the perfect road trip outfit, except I would need a jacket, like a denim jacket. So just knowing yourself, know what feels comfortable to you guys. And in terms of trying to pack small, I would definitely consider wearing the same stuff that I wrote there on the way back. It is a five hour um, drive though. So just for the purposes of taking photos and having extra outfits, I would probably bring something else to like two different ones. But you know, if you're not a blogger trying to take, you know, millions of photos for Instagram, then you should be plenty fine to have the same cozy outfit in and out. So I am packing this little Varley. I love Varley. They have the best cozies. This is like a brand new arrival and this is like a terry cloth. Little shorts in here has the pockets just like nicely done. It is a higher waist but this is the size extra small you guys and it's just a nice. It has the strings inside so it just looks a little cuter on the outside with all the strings hanging and it's like a good length that's not too short, not too long, just like a medium length that hits right perfectly on where I wanted to to hit 
and then a sweatshirt. So this is also a terry cloth sweatshirt, so super cute and very basic. I feel like this will be good to be worn with other things to like say if I get cold in the hotel room or whatnot, this will be just something good to reach to. And if things get cold, if it gets chilly, if for some crazy reason, it's supposed to be 90 degrees there the whole weekend, but we never know. Sometimes there's like a storm that passed through and then the temperature drops. This happened last time we were in Asheville, which actually was fall, so that was more, it made more sense, but whatever happens, it's just nice to have a sweater handy. So that's why I always pack a sweater. Then knowing that I'm gonna be going out, so we arriving, my mind is like, I'll just wear this on the way there. Then as we arrive, I'm gonna get ready for dinner. We have dinner reservations at like five that afternoon. So I am bringing a cute little dress for dinner. And this is just an easy little piece here from Express. This just arrived and I'm like, you know what? It's our anniversary, it might be cute. So I'm in between two of them. This could be my actual anniversary day, although we are meeting friends, so we're gonna go out with friends on the actual anniversary, so we might celebrate it a, a night sooner or earlier. So this will be my cute little dress, and this will be worn with just a pair of sandals. It can be flats because this is like pretty short, so it'll be cute with flats or heels. So this is a pair of flats that I just gotten recently, and it is so comfortable, even though I have a lot of like super cute flats <laughs> and a lot nicer looking. Um, these are the most comfortable, and I want to make sure that I am comfortable, so I will be wearing these guys here for um, the way there in the car and maybe to walk around even. And then for the dress, I am packing this little Manolos here because they are so cute. They will go with both the dresses that I'm bringing and actually all of the other outfits if I decide that I need a pair of heels. The reason why I picked these amongst all of my other shoes is because the height is not too tall and it is so, so extremely comfortable. This like thick straps here just light it through. This is like a cushiony sole. So we're going to be walking around. It's Nashville. It's going to be a trip that we are going to be walking around. Even though it can be gross, I am trying to... Uh, I'm going to be trying my best to not trash these, but they are amazing. Neutral. This is another thing to keep in mind to try to pack colors that are neutral, like a black pair of sandals or, you know, like a camel's uh, pair of like a cream pair that will go with all of your outfits or, you know, pick the palette and just kind of stick through it. So that way these pieces can become so many different outfits, if that makes sense. Then next morning, we also have a brunch reservation for brunch. Duh. <laughs> And uh, that's really our anniversary day. So it's that Saturday, the 26th, which you're for sure will be seeing this video after the fact, but I'm just throwing it out there. I wanted to pack a really super cute brunch outfit and I have this Anine Bing massive dress here. So this is a um, maxi dress and it's just very loose. So you don't really need any undergarments. If you do, you might, have, you might need just a... Uh, strapless bra, but just undies and you have it. I am packing this to wear with either one of the shoes So it can definitely be worn with either one of these However, I think I'll go with the heels just because this is so long and bulky It would be nice to like have a little height then we are going to Nashville So I just got this awesome um, lack of colors hat in here this will be so good if you guys are going to the pool, you know, if there's a pool in your hotel or whatnot. This, um, to me, is a must, especially if we're going to be outdoors doing things because I do have melasma on my face. And it's just the minute that I'm out in the sun and getting sun on my face, you know, my melasma flares back out. So I'm going to try to avoid that at all costs. Plus, we're in Nashville, you know. It's kind of like a country, obviously, not kind of like, but total country. So I feel like a, you know, massive hat will fit in just fine with the vibe. If you're going to LA, like California, well, actually, if you're going anywhere, really, you guys, you, it's your style, you make it. I pack hats and I am trying to be good and not bringing 
all of my hats so i'm just gonna bring this guy here because it will go with it goes with all of my outfits so this will go in my hands in the car so just on the back seat so i don't have to pack it and since we're talking about the looks i am bringing a pair of super cute earrings you guys these are adorable i think that they're still stocked they're so so cute they're like sh seashells with like beads and they will be super cute for the pool too or beach if that's where you're going so i pack just a statement earring i will be going you know traveling with my normal jewelry my rings the everyday stuff that I'll be wearing and then I'll just have one for like a statement outfit and I'll bring this um, gorgeous new electric fix to the Cobra because it is also more statementy really good for like an evening outfit even if it's like super basic I think it will be so so cute so usually these are electric picks and I do have a discount code down below for you guys I like to get their stuff first of all it just wears out super nicely I shower with mine and do everything like this this is them and this Parker one is them too but mainly I save all of this little baggies because they're waterproof and they're so, make it so easy to like travel with my jewelry and have them like in separate little packets so we're on the brunch the brunch then we're gonna go and meet friends so our brunch is kind of like later in the day like i think it's one o'clock so it's more like a lunch and then we will be meeting friends that afternoon so i'll probably just wear the same outfit for the day until we actually meet them and get ready for the night so you guys mind you i told i mentioned it's going to be 90 degrees so i just want to pack things that are like easy to wear and it is a very like party town so there's lots of bar hopping happening i want to have something that will cover me up so i'm bringing my abercrombie um, long shorts just because I don't want any booties showing and these are super comfortable too and they look put together depending on how you style them I'll just bring this one shoulder little blouse in here a little top I feel like that would kind of elevate things with this and and then I will bring this little thong sandals as well with a minimal heel this is also cute and good to like walk around places still feel comfortable and all of that so these can be super cute just worn alone like this at night you can dress up the look with the manolos and a cute little blazer i'm i'm bringing this blazer just because it's so nice and soft um i think that it would be a cute little you know dinner if it's a place that's just a little a tad fancier i think it would be cute and these kind of go together you know everything is very basic colors in here and so that's the direction we're gonna go i am bringing as far as handbags i'm bringing the massive balenciaga menswear canvas belt bag just because it fits so much in here and it's just so much easier to walk around a city like nashville where there's a lot of people outside on the streets um, carrying my goods close to me plus it goes with all the outfits and i'm gonna bring the gucci belt bag or not belt bag but the gucci chain bucket mini bucket for dinner or for the brunch where i know i'm going to be in a restaurant it's just not as crazy i think that this will be cute and it's dressy enough that will go with the dresses too trying to bring only one pair of sunnies you guys these are my recent buy from nordstrom they're bp brand and they are 15 dollars. so just a great purchase in here they fit really nicely i have a ton of designer sunglasses you guys know that um and these are very like designer quality i love how big the lenses are i actually like them more than my actual ray-bans so then for the last outfit so then we got covered the saturday you know the dress and then the shorts for the night time and then sunday we are going to brunch as well with the friends and i'm bringing the pair of like linen shorts in here i just got these two these are the rails ones from nordstrom but i also got a, a linen set from amazon 
that I've, I'm also loving, you guys. It's equally nice and soft. And you can definitely like just, you know, I'm gonna add two links, two different links in here for you to give you options of things that are like easy and cute to wear for that. And you can actually travel back with them. The reason why I'm bringing the rails versus the Amazon is because I wanna bring the matching jacket as well. So this jacket, it's kind of like my wild card too like i can wear and if you're trying to like be more limited on your space i would bring you know i'll toss the blazer and just keep this jacket because it's just a lot smaller probably packs better you would have only one piece that you might need to steam a little bit this is linen so you know keep in mind it will be wrinkly but if this is the case i would just wear with me in the car or just keep it in the car with me and if i'm flying i'll just throw it over my shoulder so that way it just gets minimal wrinkles you know it's not gonna look like it just came out of a bottle and you can wear this guy here with multiple outfits pretty much all of the outfits that you've seen that I've shown you here. So it is just a great jacket. And then I got three of these little BB tops too because they are uh, tanks. They are $10 each, it's super easy, like rib knit material. So also go goes well with the vibe. So this could be like my Sunday outfits to go to brunch with the girls, with, you know, with the couples and uh, maybe do some shopping before we leave and even heading home. It's just something that will keep me super comfortable. And I can also wear with the little canvas sandal or the little thongs here. So there's like two options, whatever I'm feeling like. I can wear with the Gucci bucket bag or the Balenciaga belt bag. So you guys, this is it for the clothing. I try to be like very thoughtful. Obviously, don't forget to bring a pair or not a pair, but like little PJs and uh, your undies. I save my shoe little dust bags in here for this kinds of purposes like if i'm going to the beach that's where i would put my bathing suits too bras undies you know and whatnot those kinds of things i usually count how many days i'm going to be there and i pack just the exact number of underwear and i actually i myself i don't know about you and maybe this is tmi but i do wash my undies in the shower just in case something happens and i need something you know i need another pair an extra pair or if we get a flight delay or a flight cancellation or car breaks down i don't know like everything can anything can happen i like to have fresh pairs of undies available another thing you guys that i recommend you to get is I, and these are like some amazon purchases to keep my outfits just nicely, neatly uh, packed and it just, it makes such a difference when you are packing to actually fit everything in these little packing cubes in here. So I'm going to be linking some of these two that I use and I'll show you how I actually pack the things in them as well. <laughs> And now for the beauty, um, I am packing my makeup in this this one bag here. I try to bring just the necessities too. I'm not gonna go through every single thing in here just because it will take forever, but I just bring a foundation, my sunscreen, um, that's a full coverage, concealer. I will bring like a bronzer that doubles as an eyeshadow to just to make, you know, space, be conscious of space. Since this thing fits a lot, I went ahead and brought my highlighter, just pencils, brushes, you know, um, eyelash curler and my little, my Armani eyeshadow that I wear to do my, um, I used to do my 
cat eye. So this is what I typically use on my everyday if I'm not doing anything fancy or out of the norm. I love bringing something like this, just a small little bag in my handbag. So the bag that goes in my in the car with me or that would be like my carry-on or my, you know, in the plane bag, I always pack something like this. This is not a flight. I actually have one for when I'm flying that's specific for flights. But this one will carry like a face, a face mist. It will carry a hand lotion, just lipsticks, which is way too many. I don't need all of this, but you know, lip balm and some Tylenol or some Advil or whatever. I bring my AirPods and always a dental floss. You guys, one time I forgot my dental floss and I almost literally died of anxiety, panicking because I get stuff stuck on my teeth all the time and it just drives me nuts. So this is something that I would never forget. And I've packed in this, you know, the, the bags that go in my um, luggage and it drove me crazy. I like, I literally wanted to go to my luggage and get it so badly and I, I was in a plane. So anyway, learn my lessons. So don't forget to actually pack something with you in your hands for easy access that you cannot live with, without. So to me, it would be like a face mist or so something that's like, gives me some hydration and dental floss and uh, hand cream and lip balm, like all my essentials, basically. Then skincare, I try to be super, super conscious of skincare because it can go, I can go crazy. You guys, I'm 41, obviously I take extra care. Like I, you know, I can just do one moisturizer and call it a day. I need my sunscreen. This is just like a must have for me, cannot leave without. Um, I could not bring this um, face wash, but since it fits in here, I am bringing and I'm bringing my extra lip balm. These kind, like a majority of these actually stay here. This is my like to go um, little beauty bag that just has my essentials and I don't have to pack and unpack them because I have forgotten a few of these you know, before I decided to create one bag that I leave them in there. But I actually carry this microfiber cloths and I highly, highly, highly recommend these, especially the mini ones for traveling, you guys. You literally like use it. You don't need a face wash. You wet these, you wipe off all of your makeup, you wipe off everything. It's just so, so incredible. And then I just wash mine with soap under the water in the sink, running water, and you will, you know, leave it there to dry and it will be ready for the following night when you're ready to get ready for bed. And uh, I do have my Billy here. This always um, also stays here and I have an extra razor blade. Uh, I did shave, I did uh, do my tanning. I try to do everything prior to going on the trip so I don't have to like panic when I'm there. But just in case, you know, I forgot a spot or whatever, it just, it's one of those things that stay here too. For my things that don't stay here because I use it every day are just my SkinCeuticals. Um, Floritin CF, this is for the Melasma girls. I use this vitamin C every single day, especially in the summertime. It just protects me, you know, X amount of times more than sunscreen alone. So I pile these guys up on myself. And this is my night antioxidant. If I had, like, if I had to get rid of anything, it would probably be like the face wash maybe the hair mask, but these guys are just my go-tos. I would not get rid of them. And then I save, I have a um, small case of um, moisturizer in here, and this is enough for all of these days. Um, but I will usually keep something like this and wash after it's done, and then just put my new moisturizer in here because this is easy to carry with me. I also have some other little moisturizers in my... Um, other bags so you know just in case and then my native deodorant I like these um, paper ones because they are a little smaller and they fit in perfect in here I have a little hair mask and hair oil so hair mask is good you guys because it's it's very compact too and I don't mind using the shampoo from the hotel if I do wash my hair probably not going to since I wash it today and it's just for the weekend, so I should be fine unless it rains and I need to wash it, then I am 
prepared. Last beauty bag is with toothbrush. So I carry my toothpaste, toothbrush. This would be like if I was going somewhere further, you know, staying longer, I would put my self tanner and my mitt in here too, just to kind of touch up. But since it's just a couple days, then this, this is fine. And then I will have like a body oil and my scent. This is way too big, but I have the room in here. So that is all good. Then this is where the, you know, shoe little dust bags come in handy too, is when I pack like hair tools. So I have been using the large barrel now just to kind of get like this very soft waves with this new haircut. So that's what I will pack in here. And that's just easy to like not have that cable tangling up on anything and getting this hairbrush, you know, caught up on things. So I will also packing a hair um, spray and this is it for my hair. Now off to one more, my bag that I carry in the car. So, so you guys, you've, if you follow me on Insta, you've seen this Celine so often when I travel, I take this girl with me always because it fits all of my needs. It's massive. So they, they have a ton of like totes, travel totes, and I'll try to uh, link some other options for you guys, a little more affordable, some others that I really like as well. But this to me is perfect. And I also have had a lot of questions and how I keep this clean, which this will be a whole different video, but I just use Folex, um, no fabric cleaner. I really did not treat this bag, uh, but for the road trip, it will be perfectly fine. So I have my computer case in here. This is an Amazon find. It does have an extra pocket in here. So that's where I will bring my charger, phone charger, like an extra charger in here. And I'll also put in my cell phone charger. You know, these are all gonna be up front with me. And then I just slide my computer on this sleeve. You guys, if I was not going, I mean, I'm just trying to tell you why I'm bringing my computer, but <laughs> I always do because I have not in the past and it just drove me crazy. But we do have, fi it's a five hour drive, so I will for sure be just catching up with some work at some point on both ways. And this is just my personality, so I'm very, ADHD so I need to be doing something at all times so here is this then I will have that little baggie that I prepare for here I'll have my um, glasses in here my jewelry I try to pack in here but not as like I don't need it I just just easier access for me um, and then I will have my bag in here which I will have my phone my wallet you know all of my like handbag goodies in here and that's it you guys i used to back in the day when i was trying to do like professional photography at all times for insta i would bring my camera and that was just another load of things and i would bring like vlogging camera and all of that and nowadays i have decided to simplify everything and all i bring is my cell phone and an extra charger because it's just the same quality, sometimes even better, you know, and sometimes it just saves me so much because if I'm bringing a camera, I would have to bring an external thing for the car to go into the computer or to go into my phone so I can edit the pictures and it's just bulky and, you know, carrying this around. It's just not the best scenario for me and this is not a work trip, so I don't see the point of doing that and just overloading myself. So just being more simple and simplifying everything is perfect. And so this is my bag. You will have the computer, the bag, the, the toiletry bag, and this bag in here. And everything that I need, you guys, I do not think that I'm forgetting anything. Actually, this is my new Delcy carry-on and I'm gonna try to pack everything into this baby here You guys I am obsessed with this bag. I'll put the link in here This is also an Amazon find or actually is available on Amazon too I got the big version of it too, but I felt like the way that they make this you know the compartments and everything is just very compact and just very like user-friendly like it's easy to 
back in there and carry on. So I am excited to be bringing this guys here. It's very cute together. So I feel like I'm still gonna look like myself and not trying to like look super raggedy, you know, just because I packed, I didn't pack enough. But just being mindful of space and time and, you know, just trying to not be wasting my precious time in there selecting outfits, if that makes sense. And the planning will save you trouble while you're there. And that's it for today, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video, that you found value, that it was helpful for you to pack light and still look chic. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure that you leave me a thumbs up. It means a lot to me, helps me a lot. And until next time, um beijo. Tchau, tchau.